we're gonna take a look at this smart air quality monitor. I actually wanted something to track the carbon monoxide in the air and I thought this would be a pretty nice machine to do it. The company agreed to give me the machine in exchange for this video. So I'm gonna show you some of the features of this monitor, how it works and what I think of it. This monitor does so much. It tracks the CO2 in the air, the humidity, the temperature, TVOC levels, PM1 and PM2.5. So it tracks quite a bit. I've discovered that the goal of this monitor is to improve the air quality around you. And to do that, it has these little features like in the back here, there are these ports. For example, you can hook up a fan to the CO2 slot and when CO2 levels get high, it'll kick on the fan. Or for humidity, you could add a humidifier. You'll probably want to get a professional if you use these ports to set it up for you. You can also download an app and that app will show you the air quality and how it's changed throughout the day. And that's only partially what the app does. You can also control the things like a fan and a humidifier through the app as well. Now that we've looked at some of the awesome features of this monitor, it's time to plug it in and show you the basic setup. To turn it on, you just press and hold the power button. The CO2 monitor will calibrate automatically as it sits in the room. You can also calibrate it manually by pressing the escape button three times in a row. I hit it three quick times and then it will take about three minutes to calibrate it manually. And you'll want to do this in a well ventilated area. And once it's done, it will beep and you're ready to go. To turn the Wi-Fi on and off, just press the power button three times. Watch the Wi-Fi signal when I press it. Now it's off and now it's on. To reset the Wi-Fi and pair it with your network, press it five times and then it will start to blink. And as it blinks, you'll use the app to pair it with your network. The app will walk you through how to do that. To change the temperature display from degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit or the other way around, just press the power button quick two times. That changes it to Fahrenheit and if you want to go back, two times gets it back to Celsius. In my part of the world, we do Fahrenheit, so I'm going to leave it at Fahrenheit. If the monitor ever detects bad air quality, for example, the CO2 levels get too high. If they get too high, the alarm will go off. To mute the alarm, you press and hold the escape button. Now the alarm wasn't going off, but if it was, that would have muted it. And then to turn it back on, you just press and hold that same button and the alarm will come back on. And if something happens, it will go off again. So make sure that the alarm is showing, but if you ever need to silence it, just press and hold the escape button. Next, I wanna show you how to turn off or dim the display. You may not want the display on the whole time. And so to dim it, just press the set button once and to turn it off, press the set button again. So once dims it, and then a second time, turns it completely off. And that only turns the screen off. It doesn't turn off the unit itself. So that's the basic setup. And this unit is awesome. I can't wait to use it more in my house. I hope this little video has helped you out. If you want to try it out for yourself, the company has left me a link to give to you. It's in the description. Uh, there's also some highlights there of what the product does. So be sure to check out the description and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.